Hello and welcome back on my Cougar channel. Here's a question I got about two years ago from a friend of mine. Uh, I do remember in my youth when we uh, had older diesel engines, Mercedes W123. We could simply go to the supermarket, buy uh, flowers, uh, sunflower seeds, uh, seed oil and uh, just put it into the, into the tank. Well, it was cheaper than normal diesel, so, so we did it. And the car ran, ran perfectly, no problem with it at all. Yeah, well, okay, sometimes there was problem with the, the, the uh, fuel filter and so on. But today, regarding climate change and environmental concerns, the question is, can I run vegetable oil in modern diesels, in this case in my Cougar as well? So uh, the answer is, Yes, but not right away. So uh, let me explain, please. Before you do that, wait. You can't actually put in normal vegetable oil you buy at the supermarket into a car. The car will not run because diesel engines are different today. Uh, the injection and uh, pumps are, are very different and the injection principles are very different. That the modern common ray diesel cannot handle normal vegetable oil, unrefined vegetable oil. Uh, so uh, that is not an alternative. However, you can see that uh, there are trucks running on so-called biodiesel. Uh, that biodiesel often is uh, meant RME, rapeseed methyl ester. Uh, it's made from rapeseed, as the name says, but you can make it from corn or soya bean, as, as in this case here. Uh, and uh, for this, you have to modify your engine a little bit. So you need the engine warmer uh, or a fuel warmer, uh, to be precise, and also some type of filtering device. That is not really an alternative for my Cougar, I thought. But there is a third alternative. It's called HVO, hydro-treated vegetable oil. It's made from uh, organic waste, meaning food you're throwing away or uh, uh, from industrial food production. And uh, it is uh, treated in a chemical process, so uh, your car won't need any alterations to, uh, to use this uh, material. There are different companies producing this type of fuel. Um, you can see them on the left hand side here. The one which uh, is in my neighborhood is uh, Nestle. It's apparently a Finnish company. Uh, and uh, the uh, chemical process you can see on the right hand side is taken from their website. So uh, what, what happens is that you have a very complex molecule, meaning from from your organic waste and uh, by using hot hydrogen uh, you will break that down into uh, smaller molecules and these smaller molecules are very like normal diesel fuel. I said uh, it's like diesel because it's not the same material. You will immediately uh, notice that uh, the uh, biodiesel or the HVO does not smell like diesel. It feels greasy on your hands, but uh, it uh, does not smell that unpleasant as, as diesel. Also, and uh, here we have a list of the, the different, or comparison list of the different diesels. This is uh, the, the uh, uh, HBO uh, I can buy here. Uh, this one is the standard for uh, HBO, which normal normal HVOs have to fulfill. This is the standard for diesel. So we won't go through all of it, but uh, I want to just stress one thing. This one, the ash. The ash is what builds up the particulates in, in the, uh, the particulate filter, which means from time to time your car has to burn free the particulate filter. And uh, the higher the amount of ash in in the diesel or in the fuel, uh, the, of, the more often it has 
where the car has to do that. This means that you lose at that point, you lose uh, you lose power, um, you, the um, fuel consumption will increase, and of course the the diesel filter will eventually wear out. So the, the more often it's done. But what you can see here that diesel has a much higher amount of ash per liter than the material which I'm which I'm using just now. I've been using it for about one and a half years and I can see that the car does the regeneration of the uh, particulate filter much more seldom than it does when I use diesel. So back to my initial question, does my Cougar run on vegetable oil? Yes, it does. Yes, it's better for the environment. Yes, it's better for the climate. Yes, it's better for the car. And uh, yes, it's better for me. It gives me a good feeling. I've been doing that for uh, about one and a half years now. Sometimes filling up with diesel when I didn't have uh, HBO available. But uh, I could actually tell the difference in the frequency, how often the particular fit is regenerated and not. So uh, should you try? You decide. But it works. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time.